first event here on Great Wrestling from the Olympic Auditorium. The bell sounds, and it's Chavo Guerrero and the Masked Spoiler. Chavo Guerrero, good arm bar. Tight hold on the Masked Spoiler from Parts Unknown. I'm Jeff Walton. We'll be with you for the next hour of exciting Great Wrestling from the Olympic, where the tops in wrestling action and stars come your way each and every week. Wrist lock, reversal, into the ropes goes the spoiler. Chavo Guerrero. Now if we look very closely, we can see that the spoiler is none other than Rugged Ron Starr. For those of you that don't know, not giving anything away because Starr has told everyone that he is a spoiler. The purpose of wearing that mask, uh, I've heard, is to hide objects. I'm not going to uh, elaborate any further in so much as uh, I've seen him do it and I think all the fans have too so that's not a secret either in the meantime it's Chavo Guerrero former America's heavyweight wrestling champion that has decided to take on the spoiler rugged Ron and star this could be a main event in any arena in the world and yet it's our first match right here on great wrestling from the Olympics so that's really something the promoters are to be congratulated Side headlock into the ropes. Chavo tosses him and a good tug tackle takedown. Leapfrog and oh, the spoiler trying for that claw that he uses so well. And the fans are razzing him because Chavo Guerrero was nowhere to be found for that one. Chavo discussing the claw with the referee says, just make sure you watch him. Up into the ropes. Spoiler doesn't break it. He's met with a punch that sends him halfway across the ring. And now it's the spoiler that's complaining about punching. We've got a good lineup of wrestling on this edition of Great Wrestling from the Olympic. Here we've got Pistol Pete going against Arias Romero. These are two, two good wrestlers. And we've got a six man tag team match. Carlos Mata, Mondo Guerrero, Al Madrill going against those wily twin devils and Coloso Colosetti. So whatever you do, get your cool drink and your lunch or dinner or breakfast or what have you and join us. Good leg bar by Chavo Guerrero. Spoiler, trying to apply the claw, ooh! Chavo rolls away and he's ready, stands at the ready. Nobody wants to be caught in that hole. That's a submission hold from the word go. Reverse arm bar, top wrist lock. Into the hair goes a mass spoiler. Referee pulls him away, and whoa, we've got something going between the ref and the spoiler. What it is, I don't know. Oh, he says, okay, okay. Got a little bit of a temperament problem there. Side headlock by Chavo Guerrero. This Chavo Guerrero has had quite, quite an illustrious career. He came on the West Coast scene in about 1970. Six, and at the same time, a young wrestler by the name of Roddy Piper arrived in Los Angeles, and together they've had a series of battles that have been tremendous. And Chavo has been a perennial favorite here. Good go behind into a uh, Tommy drop and Dex the spoiler. Chavo tries for a pin, does not succeed. The spoiler runs for the ropes. Spoiler is quite a cagey wrestler, quite tricky at times, and uh, Chavo Guerrero is very, very fast, so it's very difficult for 
Spoiler to pull some of these shenanigans, you might say. Hook up. There's that side headlock. Spoiler has the advantage. What's he going to do with it? Chavo has teamed with his brothers as a tag team, uh, both Mondo and Hector. He's held the America's Heavyweight Wrestling Championship. He's wrestled the likes of John Tolis, and of course, Piper, and the Spoiler. Just to name just a few. Crotches him, body slams him, hits those ropes, and tug tackle takedown. Ooh, back body drop catches Chavo. Oh, the spoiler goes for the claw. It's applied. Let's see if Chavo gives up. Ooh, look, look at the pained expression on Chavo's face. You can feel the fingers digging into the sides of the temple. And believe me, you talk about absolute pain. Just take your own hand and put it to the side the top of your head and start to squeeze a little bit. And you'll understand what this man's going through. Chavo Guerrero now in trouble with the claw applied to his forehead. Spoiler's not wearing that glove that he uh, has worn in the past. Surprised about that. Chavo trying to secure release by punching away at the spoiler's chest. Takedown. There goes that claw again. Chavo Guerrero now on his back. The referee is counting. Chavo's got to be careful that those shoulders are not on the mat. That left shoulder's up. Stomping away at the head, the spoiler. Goes back with the claw. Fans are yelling, go Chavo. They like this young fellow. Oh, look at that Lido Bridge. Boy, have you got to be in shape to do that. Oh, and he's taken down at the hair. One. Only a count of one. That shoulder is up. Boy, I'll tell you, bridging like that. <laughs> Those stomach muscles have got to be in shape. The question it is into Guerrero. What do you say? Chavo. Ooh. Turning. His entire body off the mat. Trying to get to his feet. Spoiler once again. Flying the claw. It's on there tight. Chavo is feeling the effects. You can... Oh, he spins out of it. Good move. But the spoiler knows that he has Guerrero days. This is very unusual for Chavo Guerrero, but. Whoever gets caught in that hole, it's just like a vice. Starts to cut off the flow of blood to the brain, and that's what, uh, see, the question's in, and Chavo said no. Talk about headaches. Throws the spoiler into that corner padded buckle. There's a solid left, right, Dex the spoiler. Chavo checking to see that everything is still in play. Oh, back to the claw. Spoiler's known for the claw. There's no doubt about it. He knows how to use that hold. That hold has been used by so many wrestlers in the past. Uh, Waldo Von Erich, Fritz Von Erich was very, very successful with the claw. Uh, I remember Killer Carl Krupp. Many wrestlers also use the stomach claw. The head claw seems to be more effective for some reason, maybe because of the strategic point that uh, applying pressure. One, two, oh, almost a win for it. Spoiler. Knee drop to the head, weakening. Spoiler has found Guerrero's weakness and seems to be working on it. 
And in case you just joined us late, this is our very first event here on Great Wrestling from the Olympic. Oh, no one there. He tried to apply that again, and Chavo Guerrero moved. Now Chavo coming back. Wild swing. Oh, back to the claw. Many years ago, and I'm talking about the 20s and the 30s when wrestling was very, very popular then, too. The old wrestlers would get in a hold like this, and they would stay in a hold like this for upwards of an hour, hour and a half. And you talk about uh, holds <laughs> to be caught in an abdominal stretch and held that way for about an hour. Just incredible, the stamina of the old-time wrestlers. And of course, today, wrestling is, is faster paced, and uh, the wrestlers know that. And, I think the fans want to see more action. Wait a minute. Time has rung out. Here's Jimmy. Okay. Now, let's see. The bell has sounded. The referee is going to give us a decision. So let's see who it will be. Chavo, the good guy, or the spoiler. The spoiler wins it. That's it. We'll be back with more after this.